Uh, hello, my name is Marcus and uh, today I will show you how to uh, motion track a table and uh, add a few pots on it. This is the final result. Uh, the pots stick uh, to the table and it looks almost like if they were there from the beginning. Uh, uh, this uh, tutorial involves uh, motion tracking in the Bushu 4.1, uh, texturing and uh, modeling in the 3ds Max, and uh, compositing in After Effects, and some uh, texture work in Photoshop. So, let's begin. And now we are here in After Effects, and uh, I have to render an image sequence to import in to Bushu and uh, later on into uh, 3ds Max. Uh, this is uh, what my footage looks like and uh, I'm going to add some uh, pots on the table here. Okay, to export this you do composition at render queue. And then you press uh, this button and uh, you pick uh, JPEG sequence. Format options, uh, maximum quality. Okay. Uh, select your output uh, directory. Uh, I have already done this, so uh, you make your own directory and uh, then press render. Okay, now we're done here. Okay, now we are in uh, Bushu, Bushu number four. This uh, this one, this version. Okay, uh, you press import sequence and you navigate to uh, your uh, directory. There you had uh, exported your image sequence. Uh, let's see desktop here. Uh, here. Okay, and you select and you press open. And here you see uh, end frame and start frame. That's uh, good as default. And uh, it's very important that you press edit camera and uh, select the frame rate that your footage is in. Uh, mine has 25. Okay, press OK. Uh, then uh, track features. Uh, you can uh, press advanced and uh, increase the sensitivity, but it, it will make it slower, but uh, in uh, this uh, case it will not make it better, so I'll just use the default settings and press start. Uh, now it's going to track uh, uh, the sequence and uh, yeah, it will only track 2D so, so far so uh, yeah almost done it's good when you see a lot of lot of this uh, red crosses, uh, that means that there is uh, many tracking points in your sequence and uh, that will make it easier for you to, uh, or for Bushu to do the camera solve that we're going to do now. Press camera solve, uh, all frames and uh, optimize camera path smoothness is, uh, yeah, and press start. Now it's going to uh, solve uh, for the camera and uh, calculate the 3D points and the camera position. Here you can see right now it's the points stick to the table and the background pretty well. Uh, but uh, I'm going to uh, add some more points at the corners here so I can make a flat table. Yeah, you can see here in the press 3D and uh, hold shift and then you can uh, use your right m mouse button to uh, uh, zoom and uh, your left mouse button to uh, orbit. 
here you can see it's uh, uh, the scene is rotated here this is the table and it should be flat but we will uh, fix that in a moment let's go back to the, to the view and uh, press add target tracks move to the front of the beginning uh, the beginning yeah uh, wait a second uh, I'll remove this point because I'm going to have put a target track here and this and those two here. Uh, actually, we'll only need the moving camera and the points at the corners of the table. So I'll uh, just uh, press Control A. No, that didn't work. So I'll go to the 3D view, select all these points, and press Delete. But the, as you can see, the camera is still moving here. We have a still the moving camera. Okay, let's go back to 2D view and uh, go to the front at the beginning of the sequence and press. Oh, sorry. Uh, press uh, add target tracks. We're going to start with this corner here, and you can see up to the right that I'm going to position it exactly on the corner, and then I'm going to move to the middle here. And I'll position it again exactly in the corner. Now you can see because of the camera solve is already done, it will try and figure out the 3D position of this uh, right now, and I won't have to do a, another solve for this point to be calculated. You can see between the keyframes I have put here, it sticks pretty well to that table. I want to put in a few more keyframes only to be on the safe side. You can see it sticks rather well. Uh, okay, uh, now that's good. Then uh, right click and press toggle edit mode. Now that uh, target track is done, you press add target tracks again and you, we can go to this uh, corner. And the, we'll do just as I did. Move forward a couple of frames, position it again, and position it uh, on the corner. And uh, one more time. Yeah, and uh, the final keyframe, like that. Now you see it sticks very well to the corner, that keyframe too. Right click, right click, toggle edit mode, and uh, uh, then click away to get rid of the green, uh, the highlight. Yeah, and add another target track on this corner. Uh, you can zoom by uh, holding shift and uh, dragging on your. Uh, right mouse button and uh, uh, pan like this by holding your middle my mouse button and uh, shift at the same time uh, okay uh, same as I did before I'm going to put uh, keyframes here just to oh, just like I did before It's very easy to make this uh, flat table. So that uh, seems to stick well too. So uh, right click, toggle edit mode, and uh, deselect. Uh, 